as national referee. And now let's meet the starters. First for Army, Black Mamba. Middle blocker from Arellano University, number two, Private Ann Esguera. Center from the National University, number seven, Private Ivy Perez. Outside spiker from the University of Perpetual Health System Delta, number nine, Corporal Royce Tubino. Outside spiker from the University of San Agustin, number 14, Private First Class, Nene Bautista. Middle blocker from Faith Batangas, number 16, Corporal Lut Malaluan. Opposite hitter from the Far Eastern University, number 21, Private Jeanette Villarreal. Starting liberal from Rizal Technological University, number 10, Team Captain, Sergeant Angela Nunag. Head coach for Army is Sergeant Randy Fagliorina. And now the starters for the Atari Chargers. Center from De La Salle University, number 16 captain, Michelle Cobb. Middle blocker from Anderson University, number seven, Chris Magaslang. Outside spiker from San Beda University, number nine, Janine Marciano. Middle blocker from the Far Eastern University, number 10, Ezra Madrigal. Outside spiker from Adamson, number 15, Kiara Permentilia. Opposite hitter from the National University, number 16, Dindin Santiago Manabat. Starting the row from Adamson, number one, Bang Pineda. And the head coach for Akari, Jorge Souza de Brito. This game is held under the supervision and regulation of the Games and Amusements Board. It is Army Black Mamba versus Akari. This and there we have the starting PDL, lineups. Villarreal, Perez, Tupino, Malaluan, Bautista, Esguera, and Nunag. That's for the Army Black Mamba energy drink. Lady Troopers on the other side. We've got Santiago Manabat, Makaslang, Marciano, Madrigal, Permentilla, Cobb, and Pineda. That's for the Akari Chargers. And that's four for both teams hoping for their first win of the tournament. Who will get that elusive victory? We'll find out in just a bit. Well, these two squads are aching yeah. for that victory. But you know, for me, I'm just excited for Akari because they're a new team. Yeah, you know, a lot of people are saying, you know, they're struggling, but they're new. You know, you have to give it to them. And I feel the acquisition of Santiago Manabat is huge for the team. And hopefully, she, you know, she can give some wins to the team. Oh, that's for sure. Yeah. That's a huge addition together with Bank Pineda, both of whom we talked about yeah. during that pregame. Will those additions be critical in getting them the victory? We'll find out. Our first rally is here, and the first point will go to the Lady Troopers. Yeah, and Nene Bautista, good start. Well, of course, we have to mention, for, for those who just joined us, there's no Drovelin Gonzaga in the, I think, in the lineup no, for this conference. So people like Nene Bautista, they will be looked to for leadership and points. That's a huge loss. Ah, of course. Obviously, Jovelin, from what we understand, the reports are she's wanting to concentrate and focus on beach volleyball. Beach volleyball. Yeah. And again, that serves our national team anyhow, but at the same time, on a smaller scale for her home squad, that's a big loss. Yeah. I mean, we all know Jovelin Gonzaga and what she can bring to the team, but that's that. Life such is life, so the others have to follow suit. Going down the line there is Bautista, and you can see that's going to be the second point, and it's 2-1 to one in favor of the Lady Troopers. Yeah, and how fitting it is. I mean, through the years we saw, you know, the struggle in terms of fitness, but now she is fit, talking about Nene Bautista, and then now they need, they need her to lead the team. So, you know, it's good for her, and uh, hopefully she'll also help her team get the first win. Marciano, easily handled there. That went over. That's a good block up front. Yeah, good cover, though. There's Bautista once again. 
Cobb gets to it. It's a free ball here. <laughs> Bit of a miscue there. Nice, easy hit there. And at this point, let's check in with Jaime. Thank you, Anthony and Rie. You know, for Royce Tobino, one important volleyball teacher that she has had in her life is time. Sabi nga niya to, to her team, you don't need to panic right away. Trust the timing and trust everything that we're doing in practice. She even recalls how it is time that got her uh, longtime teammates, who she also calls her kapatid, sila nga Luth Malaluan and Nene Bautista, their first PBL podium finish. It is time that also taught her experience and confidence. You know, that's not built overnight, especially in the PBL. So Royce knows with a new coach, a new system, and young players, time is needed to trust the process. Back to you, Anthony and Marie. Thanks a lot, Jaime. Well, it's easy to say you can trust the process, mm. but then as you get further down into a conference, then you still can either get a win or you still find yourself at the bottom of the standings. Frustration sets in. Of course, of course. I mean, all these athletes, we gotta say, they came from different schools, universities, what have you. Some of them, you know, came from winning tradition. So you're right. When they can't get a win, that is frustrating. But it's up to them to change their mindset. High hands doesn't work there for Marciano. Oh. That is gonna hit the defense and just drop. And so it's gonna be a three-point lead right now for the Army Black Mamba energy drink. Yeah, and you can see Coach Jorge not pleased with the way Akari's defending right now. They're a bit slow, you know. You can see that like a split second slow, like they miss a step because Army's doing a good job in hitting it, hitting it off the hands. That is going to go long. Bautista apologizes to her squad. I mean, that's going to hurt. That's already two service errors on the side of Army Black Mamba Energy Drink Lady Troopers. And it's a good start for them. You don't want to halt your own start. Good start by committing these errors. That's a good serve from Marciano. That's a great serve. That's kept alive. Free ball. Permentilia tries to go down the line. She's dug. Tubino. One of the lone bright spots for her squad the last time out. Looking to be able to help her squad Whoa. get a win. There's Bank Pineda and her quick addition to Akari here. Oh, still alive. Permentilia. And now here's Tubino going to her left hand. Best rally of the match it so far, is. Pineda the right spot once again from the back row that's not over but you know we've watched so many games both in the men's and the women's side normally if that happens and there's a challenge it is a block touch and they're gonna give as you mentioned a block touch first challenge Our first look at it didn't look like it went over. It didn't look like there was a touch. But the coaches were actually looking straight at the net. Yeah. So I guess those are three sets of eyes compared to two sets of eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Old eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to. I didn't want to include that. Okay. But if you wanted to qualify it, yes. 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 I'm looking at the coaching staff. Yes. Uh, definitely younger. <laughs> <laughs> No, but normally, if the ball hits the tape before, if it's at the bottom of the tape, yeah, I mean, for sure there's no block touch. But if it hits like in the middle of the tape and then it rolls a bit over and it hits a blocker, before people can, uh, referees can call it four touches. But now it's already considered a block touch. We're taking a look right now just to see exactly what the call is going to be. Who will win this challenge? Here we go. Ooh, there was a block touch. <laughs> okay. Because actually, with some top spin, enough strength or power, it can still like dribble over the net. But because the blocker's hands are there, kind of stop that. 
So they're going to replay this point. Three, serving five. Ooh. That serve, though, is going to go long for Marciano. Ouch! Again, service errors for both teams. You don't want to see that. Six to three is our tally. Lady Troopers have doubled up here under opposition early here in set number one. Permentilla. The dig. Here's Tupino. Too much power behind that one. From the back row, Marciano. That's going to work here for Akari as they pick up a point. Yeah, that's an over reception. Obviously, Ivy Perez, even how tall she is, can't keep that alive. But to go with the serve. As her team trails here by two. Well, this should be a good rotation for our Army. Michelle Cobb at the front to, to block. Wow. <laughs> Well, Madrigal was out of position that time. I mean, we're so used to Ivy Perez hitting it, as in like spiking it on the second ball. So this one actually caught Akari by surprise, and she gets the point. Their lead back up to three. Good serve there from Esguera. And Akari comes right back. Yeah, it wasn't the most solid of hits, but they'll take it. it did touch the court of uh, Army Black Mamba, energy drink Lady Troopers. That's all that matters. <laughs> That's all you got to do. A point is a point. Exactly. Cobb serving. Great serve. And it's going to be an ace. And they're now within one. We look at the... The height of the serve is just like exactly above the net and then it drops. Trying to tie things up. Let's see if Cobb can come up with another exceptional serve. That one sails a little higher, but nonetheless, got the job done. Yeah. Din Din. Goes cross court. That's such a smart hit. Obviously. Manabat, uh, Santiago Manabat reading the defense of uh, her opponents, you know, just placement shot there, just enough top spin to catch the line. Again, you're saying it doesn't have to have all the velocity. As long as it's targeted properly, it's going to get them the point. That's a great serve once <laughs> again by Cobb. A bit of a combination play is not going to work. And getting to our first technical timeout ahead. Don't look now. After trading most of this match, it's Akari up by one, eight to seven. Welcome back to the Field Sports Arena as we've got this battle between the Lady Troopers and the Chargers. Anthony Stai here together with Noreen Go and right now, Noreen, we've got a good one. Yeah. I mean, the start of this set, Army had a pretty strong start, but then it was all Akari heading to the first technical timeout. Four to nothing run. And Cobb still serving. Malalua oh. dug there. <laughs> And they go to Din Din, but she's denied. I mean, that was a wall by Malaluan and Tupino just reading that hit of Santiago Manabat. But you're right, what a dig by Pineda. 
that was Tobino. Tobino was right there. She saw where that attack was gonna go. We're tied at eight. Quick play, will work. Yeah, that's Aslan just... picks up her second point. And that's just a smart set by Michelle Cobb because they know that uh, they're gonna guard, Army's gonna guard Santiago Manabat. So give it to somebody else. And at that time, it was Makaslang. That's gonna keep the defense now guessing. Yeah. Oh, good serve. In the back row, that's gonna be sent long. Villarreal there. Shaking her head in dismay. Well, she was actually asking for a check ball, but I don't think they're gonna challenge. Well, it looked like the coach looked at the situation and shook his head and said, <laughs> it is high. It is far. <laughs> Another good serve. Cobb sets up Marciano. That's out. Now they're going to challenge this. Fermentile looked over the coach and said, Coach, <laughs> it was checked. No, but that's okay, Coach uh, Jorge. He was on who also said it was checked. He then they're not going to need to challenge it because the officials have said Check ball. it was. <laughs> Let's save you the trouble. Exactly. No, but that was, a, again, another great set by Michelle Cobb because nobody was there to block Marciano. That's another great serve. Arcadia has been doing so well in that service line. Oh. Great block there. That's still alive. Here's Bautista. Oh, good save. Now they're just setting things up, and quick smart play there from Perez. You know, that rally had a lot of those, like second ball over, drops and tips, and finally, Ivy Perez gets a point for her team. And that stops the bleeding. It's been quite a while since they've gotten a point. Well, you like it that Ivy Perez is really aggressive here, especially at, you know, the start of this match, this set. Marciano goes cross court. She's done. Boy, the Liberos really doing their job here today. Well, it was a great matchup. <laughs> and here comes Marciano now joining the offense. Finally, more of a solid hit there from Janine Marciano. She's been, she's been getting a lot of great sets, but not solid hits. So finally, you know, she gets that point. But you're right. The Liberos really working hard. And they're, such, they're just so fun to watch. That's why we focused on them yeah. right before this match. Bautista, slowed down. Cobb goes to the middle. And once again, that middle has really worked out well for their squad. Takari is playing really well here in the middle part of this first set. Look at that. See the Lady Troopers can regroup here. They're just down by four. They're still within striking yeah. distance, but again, Akari is taking control. Here is set number one. And it started really with good serves. I mean, started with Michelle Cobb and then Permentilla followed suit. So that was giving actually Army Black Mamba energy drink Lady Troopers a tough time in setting up. Good blocker. Boy, the defense has been really excellent here for both these squads, actually. Yeah. Combination play, that's not over. They're gonna challenge that. 
You know what I, what I noticed really here at the middle part of the first set, the rallies are getting better, getting longer. So both teams after, you know, after their starts now playing so much you know, more fluid. I think to start out this ball game, there was a lot of that nervousness as we take a look at this first. Chances are it's a block touch, I told you. So they're going to play this point. <laughs> I was looking at uh, Makaslang signaling to Malaluan. I'm, I'm serving. Hey, I'm the one. Because <laughs> Malaluan had a ball there as well. <laughs> Could they have served both at the same time? That would have been interesting. That would have been hilarious. Here's Makaslang. The serves have been fantastic. As long sets it up. Oh, and here comes Din Din. That's why they brought Rod Moore. Yeah, and uh, you like the other system play. Makaslang setting that. You won't hear that all the time. The middle blocker setting to their opposite hitter. Long serving once again. It's now a five point lead for Akari. This is their biggest lead. Malaluan is going to get that one to score. You know, that's smart. That's smart of uh, Gonzalez actually in the set to give it to Malaluan. You have to get her involved. You have to change things up. You can't be too predictable and going always to Royce Tobino, to Bautista. You have to get the middles involved. We always say that. Here's Malaluan serving once again. Good serve. Good they go to Din Din. Oh. And she found that donut hole there. Well, you know, really, opponents, how much respect they have for Santiago Mana. But every time she goes up, they, they feel it's a strong hit. So she can get away with a couple of uh, drops, off speed, miss hits. She can get easily get away with that. Oh. Coach is really animated on the sideline. Villarreal will Ooh. send that one long. They don't need to challenge. Yeah, that was definitely high. Akari is now up by six, 16 to 10, as we get to this second technical timeout. Yeah, yeah. After trailing early, we have the squad of Akari now on top, and there you have Mozi Ravenna. I saw Bong a while ago as well. He's up there in the stands. Well, Tita Mozi, very busy. Couple of, last couple of years, trying to help some teams get better. And there's Bong. And there's Danny. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Ravenna's all over us. Yeah. Around us here in the venue. Bong is always supporting one of his kids. Whether it be in basketball with 30 and with Kiefer, he's always there. And so is Mozi. Yeah. And same with Danny as well. Uh, as you're saying that, different that there. Service error by Santiago Manaban, given right back by Nene Bautista. And these are the people you don't expect to commit the service errors. That's right. 
Janine, one of the steadier players for Akari. That was a great serve. Bang was trying to keep that one alive. But Villarreal will score. Yeah, Villarreal, that was a great combination play. And ended up with a bang. On bang. On bang. <laughs> Jeanette serving now. Still trailing here by five. They need to be able to make some ground up. Yeah. I think that's the second block point of uh, Honey Royce to be, no? which goes to show, no? it doesn't have to be always just points through a spike or a drop. You can get points through blocking as well. That's right. She has no attack points yet. Not yet. And that's supposed to be is her forte. Ooh, it's an ace. That's three straight points put together here. And a timeout will be called by Coach De Brito. Okay. Okay, it's the same. The same. Because your best side out is here. Good there. Okay. Keep the ball that uh, as you be on time. Okay. This one or this one. If you drop this long, okay? Drop this long. Just keep your side up there. Oh, 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 oh. 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 He's so calm and composed when it comes to the huddle. Yeah. And he's so... Animated. Animated when it comes to <laughs> the actual points going on. Yeah, I noticed that also. It's like Jekyll and Hyde. <laughs> Two different personalities. Well, he doesn't want to get too animated during huddles because that's going to add pressure to the girls. <laughs> that's true. Permentilia. Well, she thought she scored there. Point still alive, though. They go to the middle. And Madrigal will pick up another point. That's going to be point number two. And again, you like the setting of Michelle Cobb distributing the ball really well here, at least in the first set. Here comes Ravenna. Well, she is now the serve specialist of the Akari Chargers. So from defense to offense. Yeah. 18, 17, 14, 19, of course, after she serves, she will Danny defend Ravenna. the fort. She got the air. She got perfect spot. That was really open. Yeah. That's close. And still, they're going to score. And this is Tobino's first point off the attack. And it's not a solid hit. You know, for her fans and for her team's fans, you're hoping she gets her, you know, her that follow through, that proper follow through, that proper groove. You know, in this match, it's still early. Well, from another serve specialist, you know, from one to the other, Princess Bello. Let's see what Bello can come up with here. Ooh, that looks long. People don't realize how hard a position that is. To be able to just come in and all of a sudden need it to contribute right away. It is hard, I mean, Obviously, it's hard, but the thing is, I always say, you're, you're, these players come from the bench. You don't have a lot of playing time. So when you're given that few seconds, eight seconds, to contribute, you want to. You don't just say, I'm cold off. To. You have to. <laughs> because you can't say, I'm cold off the bench. You know, that's why you're there. Rampana was able to get to that ball once again. Kept it alive. Yeah. And Akari will score. And their lead is once again back up to five. So you love that substitution, bringing Danny Ravenna first to serve, then to defend. And it's Cobb serving once again. They got so many points out of this particular rotation. 
That's what started their momentum, actually. Tobino says, just one serve for you this time. <laughs> yeah. If she can't really score from the outside, that's a great play designed by Gonzalez. Just give it to her in the middle. Tobino now with the serve. Her team trailing here by four. They need to be able to come even closer. Their opponent is already in the 20s. Yeah. Din Din. That's a nice stretch from Villarreal. Oh. That's in. Wow, back-to-back -back points for Royce Tobino. She made sure of that one. That was just enough spin to be able to make sure it went down. And that lead has now been cut down further. Look at the numbers, five points for Tobino. Remember the last game she scored eight points the entire match. Dindin down the line, yes. Just enough top spin. Get it through. Look at that, just enough top spin. They just want to double check on the rotation just to make sure. You're actually allowed to do that. You know, some some people they forget. You can always ask the official stable if, like who's sort who is the right server. Better that than give up a point. Exactly. Good serve also yeah. from Permentilla. Chance here. Push to the back. Then it dug there. Here comes Janine. Oh, good down thing. the line. That's a little bit too close. It still worked. <laughs> still alive. From the back row. They set up Tindin once again. And she's gonna send this one out. No. Check. Well, one official said just check balls. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're gonna challenge it anyway. Because Santiago Manabat was so sure. That's gonna be interesting. <laughs> but that's actually the official down the line there said it was checked. You know, I've seen that. Um, it's like somebody hit and then it touched. It was inside, but called out. And then the one player, just the, her reaction, said it all like, oh, it's good. That's why the opponent's challenge. No, seriously, I remember I, I was <laughs> watching one game. Now let's find out. <laughs> and you can see the middle finger. So the linesman was right. Yeah, first referee didn't see. But I mean, Santiago, again, Santiago Manaba was just 100% sure after her hit. Lead is back up to five. Permantilla serving once again and again. Akari just making sure of their rotation. Uh, at this stage, Akari can just play side out volleyball. Yeah. And they're in the clear. Oh, good dig. Great dig once again. Marciano, yes! Great transition from defense to offense. This is a timeout that's needed by the Lady Troopers. They're now with their backs against the wall. Coach, 
So, tulong-tulong lang, ha? Tulong-tulong lang. Sige, let's go. Sabihin natin isa-isa ulit. Kapit lang, kapit lang. Kapit lang tayo. Kapit, kapit, kapit. Hey! Lock Mamba! Arby! Nice look there at Sir Ricky Palou. We had a nice conversation with him earlier. Yeah, together with Joe Maraginot. Enjoying the games from the sidelines. She was on the floor here for Akari during the last conference. In the last game, I think she played as well. One of the few mistakes we've seen from the service line from Akari here today. Yeah. They still have a commanding lead. They're still up by five. Just two points away from taking set number one. And then we always say it's a good timeout. Good serve there by Jane. Here's Din Din once again. Oh, good save there. Just to keep that one alive. They go to Marciano. And again, Libero is there. Oh. Trying to go down the line. Not going to work there for Villarreal. She had a lot of things in her mind there. You're right, going down the line, looking at the defense, and then that miss hit over there. Garabena will be replaced, and here comes the other Maraginot. <laughs> so then you, if you look at the front row of Akari Chargers, it's a full front row. They want to get their first set of this conference. Yes, they do. Oh, good serve. They've got a chance here. Din Din, not to with too much power, but in the end, they're going to get this set. Well, you want to get your first set, you obviously go to your first option. It's a Diago Manaba, and she has been so creative here in the first set. And Akari just wins it here. That's the score here for the first set, 25 to 18. The Akari Charge taking it in 35 minutes. And they're feeling that first set will be a start to even better things to come as we take a look at the highlights first of set number one. Yeah, you know, we have to mention actually the start of the first set was the Army Black Mamba Lady Troopers. You know, I mean, they had a good start and then we did mention that the defense of uh, Akari Chargers were a step late, they were slow, but it started, I think, when Michelle Cobb started serving, serving tough, right? And they really, and she really challenged the first pass of, uh, of these army lady troopers. And that's where they, you know, they got their momentum and never looked back. Let's look at some numbers here, 15 to 13, just by two. In terms of attacks, blocking aces is equal, but look at the errors. You know, the opponent's errors, that's five points right there for you, given up by the Lady Trooper. So that's one thing they obviously have to check coming into the second set. And look at Akari with only three. So you can yeah. see they really took care of that volleyball. Yeah, three errors. I mean, I'm sure Coach uh, Jorge is very happy with the way they played that first set. Again, it's not how you start, it's how you end it. 
Well, these two teams actually had their moments in their previous games, just not able to get into the win column. Mm. Let's find out because definitely one of them will get into that win column today. A first win. And like you said in the pregame, the all-important first win. And they say that's the hardest to get, really. <laughs> it's even in a game. It's the hardest thing to do is to get the first point and the last point of the match. Tell that to Cherry. You have three <laughs> wins and zero losses. <laughs> that's, that's true. That's a nice way of putting it. You're looking at it from the other side of the fence, huh? Where the grass is definitely greener yeah. there. No, I'm just playing your devil's <laughs> Not really, but it's, that's the case, really, if you look at it. Set number two coming your way here at the Phil Sports Arena as we got the Lady Troopers battling the Chargers. Okay. Look who's serving. Michelle Cobb. She wants to start strong, obviously, for Akari. Can she give her squad that four-point swing that they had? Yeah. And then it became that four-point lead that uh, the Lady Troopers could not overcome. Correct. Second set underway here. Another good one. Joust, that's kept alive. That looks like that's overset. Well, you don't want to do that when you have people or players like Santiago Manapat and Makaslak by the net is to now give an overpass. She said that straight to Din Din. And Din Din said, thank you so much. <laughs> it's an early Christmas gift. It's only for Brownie. It came with a card. Yes. <laughs> Cobb once again, going down the line. What a good one. They set up Bautista, and she will score, trying to go cross court. Just hits off and ricochets off the defender. Yeah, you like that, you know, just the right angle, hitting it off the left hand of Makasla, and they get the point. Ivy Perez now to serve. Serve. And that's great defense. Bautista will pick up back to back points. And that is going to give them a one point lead. Yeah, I think that set was too near the net for Permentilla. And Bautista read that, was all over that. Ivy serving once again. As we now check in with Jaime. Anthony and Irene, you know it was a long time coming for the Akari Chargers to win their very first set this season. Well, a little backstory before we reach that. They actually had a tune-up game with LaSalle in which their focus was to loosen up and tweak the little things. Now, I, Chiara Permentilia was given those touches in those tune-up games so she can loosen up. And as we saw in the first set, she was loose with those serves. And Janine Marciano also mentioned that loosen, loosening up and working on the little things may just lead them to their first set win. Well, it was evident in the first set, but the job's not over. Back to you, Anthony and Noreen. Well, definitely it's not over, but it's step number one mm. in getting three sets, which leads to a victory. And you know, for them, again, being such a young team, getting your first set win of a conference, that should boost your morale. Really. <laughs> yeah, Real being very active there at the net is yeah. going to give First squad, the one-point lead. Yeah, but it was really heavy traffic there by the attack line. Look at that, five players there, so they couldn't just they couldn't get the ball over correctly. Just, there was no space There's to no get space, to it. No space, exactly. Oh, Three to two. Look at the front row of uh, the lady troopers, Marzan. Pretty tall front line for for army. Dindin will go wide. She probably apologizes. It's now a two-point lead here. Yeah, that's acknowledging the fact that she read that she saw her defenders, three tall ones, try to elude the blockers. Similar script here. As with set number one, Marciano. Ooh, Bautista just couldn't get out oh. of the way. Villarreal was trying to get there. Yeah, you, look, you like the effort, though. 
you know, trying to keep that ball alive, but they have a traffic jam of their own there. Yes, they did here. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just outside, but it's in the court on both sides. <laughs> it was heavier. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Yes. In a carry. One point lead here for Army Black Mamba Energy Drink. Gonna make it two. Oh, good save. <laughs> but it wasn't enough because Esquerra was right there to clean things up. Well, so far. Lady Troopers has been very aggressive at the net first Villarreal. Now it's Guerra. Again, making use of their height advantage at the net. But what about that dive of Michelle Cobb? Good save. Well, gets to it. Oh. Cobb just can't control. And this is now going to be the biggest lead for the Lady Troopers at 6-3. Oh, that's a good sign for the Lady Troopers. Ivy Bear is getting Marzan involved, meaning giving her the confidence. Hey, you're part of the, the starting six right now. You got to score. This is so similar to what we saw earlier in the first set. Yes, the guy is going to get the better of that exchange. When you look at the, the matchup, we're talking about the height advantage of the Lady Troopers of the net. So it's against Cobb and Marciano. Of course, Madrigal. Good cover. Going down the line. That's out. So 6-3 a while ago in the first set. <laughs> and then it was a 4 to nothing blast for Akari. That's how they took the lead. Exactly. Well, for, for the Lady Troopers, they're hoping it's not deja vu. <laughs> yes, They want right. to protect this lead. But they've always had a good start. Yeah. Let's see if they can get a strong finish as well. That'll creep over from the back row. Bautista, Doug. That's going to go just oh, out yeah. for Cobb. She ran out of space. So he that was stopped. Tight. Yeah, 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 actually, we did see it when she was trying to push it over. There's very little space to work with. Ooh. That'll be long. You can't afford to do that, especially now that you need to tie things up in one set of piece. And remember, they had a lot of unforced errors in set number one. You want to check that. Janine with a serve. Attack on the second ball there. Good dig. Here's Tubino. Denied by Madrigal. Well, she decided to challenge the taller blocker and going cross court, Madrigal just closes the door on Tobino. And we are tied at seven. Tobino resets. Pineda setting it up. Going to the pin and... Black Mamba, yeah. energy drink, will get that point. And that's going to bring them up by one to this technical timeout. They're up eight yeah, to seven. Yeah, yeah.
Bingo Plus, the first live streaming bingo in the Philippines. We'd like to welcome you back here to the Field Sports Arena for this battle between the Lady Troopers and the Chargers. They're both attacking. Yeah. Got the Lady Troopers <laughs> and the Chargers. the Chargers. And nobody back home there. 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 A while ago. And now we're tied. A while ago, you see the opening of the game suddenly a five-point lead was a carry. And they tie it after a flop on Santiago Manabat. Better serving once again. We are deadlocked. Boy, this is a tall team for Army Black Mamba. Great serve. Luna goes there once again. So was Manapa there on the block. Oh, Jabrito screaming, saying there's a wrong call there, but the rally. It's a violation, yes. Yeah, but the rally continues. And they're going to win the point anyhow. <laughs> I couldn't get what he was um, saying, but yeah, I mean, they get the point anyhow, you're right. Well, he saw there was a violation, so he wanted his coaching staff the to challenge. let them know the challenge. Which actually is a toy cost, because if actually he didn't see what he thought he saw, they lose the point. Yeah. The, ro the wrong play. Correct. Yeah. They're going to pick up the point anyhow, and they're going to be up by one. Quick play, up the middle is going to work there. Marazan has really contributed here in the short span of time that she's been given. That's right, and you like, again, you know, now the touches being given. Again, they're a tall team. Look at their front row, Esquera, Marazan, Bautista. All the same height. Right, and they're pretty close to Santiago Manabat. And so, again, they have to take advantage. The back row to Bino. Dug there by Cobb. Dindin. He's going to run out of real estate there. Well, she asked, you know, for Santiago Manama, we haven't seen a really solid hit yet today. A lot of drops, and then this time she hit it wide. Looking at her, she looks a little gun shy compared to what we used to see her from her before. Exactly. Before she'll just be banging away, banging away. Let's see. Oh, chance ball. Wow. Baslan will have point number four. That time, not too much strength, but very well placed. Well, that's what, you know, that's what we know, we're noticing here in the second set. These middles, these drops, they're the ones scoring, actually, for both teams. Makaslang now with a serve. Mm -hmm. Crucial moments. We are tied at 14. Who's going to try to pull away here? Oh, good save. It's still alive. It's an opportunity still here, though, for the Lady Troopers. Now to transition. Shano. The back row to Bino. Yes. Oh, that clips the line, corner pocket for Tobino. But you can sense, no, in that that point, that rally, it was really the Lady Troopers really attacking, attacking. The carry Chargers were just defending, keeping the ball alive. Here's Din Din. Now she hammers away. Have a speedometer to, to check how fast that ball was. I mean that should have that should be the, the fastest so far from Santiago Manaba. You know she can go even faster. Yeah, we know that. 
So she's just warming up. On the second set. <laughs> I saw you then, Maragay, not in for a carry chargers. So a full front row. They're trying to, you know, fight height with height. They bring in Soyu. Talk about Akari. That angle just too acute. Yeah. Oh, they're gonna ask for a block touch here. It didn't look like there was because you know the angle yeah. was looked like it was going away from the blocker. But again, we'll see. Well, again, crucial moments here in the second set. Because this is going to bring us to the technical timeout, regardless. It just shows you how difficult it is for our officials to really make a call. Because <laughs> they're watching all the action. It's a good thing the coaches, you know, have their assistants looking at particular spots on the floor. And you and I, yeah. with the naked eye, that looked like it was clean. For me, I thought it was clean as well. Down at the coaching staff here, all ready troopers and see their age. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out what the call is gonna be here. Unless they're saying that ricocheted off one of the blocks and then went to the side, but I think that's what it was really brought hoping, it was really yeah. brought by the player to this side. Yeah, it's like a miss hit, at least based on what we saw. Again, the challenge is there for a reason. We want to be able to make sure that we get it right, and so far, we have gotten everything right. <laughs> the officials have. Impeccable. And let's see if... Oh, this is taking a little longer than, <laughs> than usual. Okay, I'm going to have a sip of my drink right now. <laughs> what we think? Makes me wonder. I think here we have... Like it did touch the arm, did it? Oh no. No, it didn't. I got fooled by the coach, the lady trooper. She was clapping. <laughs> well, officially, it's an unsuccessful challenge, and Akari is going to get to this technical timeout. They're up by one. Look at this. It's Michelle Cobb, former Archer. <laughs> Archer Charger. Homecoming of sorts. That's for right, Michelle definitely. Cobb. So familiar territory for her. But again, that's why you need these games. And I even talked about it a while ago. It can help them loosen up. And you just need games under your belt, period. I always think it's actually more advantageous to to the collegiate teams or the universities that you get to have tune-up games with all these uh, the all these teams. What was the call? They were not in the right position. After they asked about their positions twice here in the first set, they came up with a blunder there. Well, they can. Easy to say that they can still afford it. It is 16 apiece. But you, again, you, at this level of play, you don't want to see these um, position, I mean, rotation faults. And there are some coaches that will actually assign one of his assistant coaches to always make sure that that never happens. Yeah. I mean, at other levels, obviously you have one, maybe at the most two coaches, and they're looking at other things. But you know, at this level, as you said, that shouldn't happen. It shouldn't. 
Then, you know, like we played the sport once in a, once upon a time in our life. You, know, you always have to know where your position is. Oh. Going down the line once again. Carmen Tilia making up for her blunder. She was the one supposedly out of position a while ago. Okay, forgiven. All is forgiven with that kill going down the line. You know that looked like the, the Kiara Permitilla before she got the ACL? She was hitting that hard and you know, good for her fans. They might appreciate that. What a never there from Bang trying to just keep that one alive, but just couldn't do it. So that lead of Akari has been cut down to one. Belly will check in. And again, I mean, you like the fight now of the Army Black Mamba Lady Troopers. You know, they're, they're down by two. So fighting, not like in the first set. That's true. It is a five, six point lead in. Seems like they just gave up that first set. Gonzalez got to that one. The rally here going to the pin. Over set. Soyud. Oh, that's out. Point in time hitting air there in the side of Akari. And here comes Ravenna. Oh, the point goes to Akari. So they call a check ball. So that that's, what, that's what Coach De Brito was about to complain. <laughs> and then they changed the call. Because initially it did look like it was supposed to be Lady Troopers point. The back row, oh. and there was no support there for Villarreal. I love that set by Maraginot. Look at how the ball just stopped. You know, I mean, it was so steady. Marciano just had all day to go for that hit. That's a very short stint for Paran and Gonzalez as they are promptly replaced. Ravenna serving once again. Their team up by three. Go to the middle, Topino. Oh, what a dig. Oh, wow, Ravenna once again doing her job. Oh. And a violation is going to be called this time on Topino. That's going to be a four point lead. Yeah, you're right, Danny Ravenna just. Playing so well off the bench. Look at this thing. Well read. Clear that violation there. <laughs> Look at the score. It's a four point lead. And once again, in the latter stage of the set, saw you, Doug. Ravenna got there once again. And De Brito saw it was going to be a drop, <laughs> and he was telling his team it's going to be a drop, but they couldn't react. Yeah, I mean, Fermentilia did try to block now that, but it, but it was Makaslak trying to go to her position already. That's why she, she got like caught flat footed there. Lady Troopers need this point once again. Soyud handled there. Good rally we're having. That's gonna get over. Oh, it's still alive! What a stretch! Highlight reel for you. They set up Soyud. And another violation at the net. This time Bautista. Well, we should say it was a well-deserved point for the Akari Chargers. Talk about bleeding for your points. They bled for that one. Look at that. What a stretch just to keep that one alive. And there was a touch on the net, and a timeout will be called once again by the Lady Troopers.
Para tayo, para tayo malakas. Kailangan natin mag-block ng maayos. Huwag tayo magigil. Ilang ganun yung binigay natin sa kanya. Relax lang tayo. Smile lang tayo, smile. Body language, body language. It is now or never. Final timeout called by Coach Faliorina. Still a four point deficit facing his squad, Eli Soyud. Serving here. Yeah, well, they need a good pass, good first ball. Talking about the Lady Troopers. That's there, that's one. Double score again. And it's now a five point lead opened up here in the business end of set number two by the Chargers. Yeah, what an angle by Permentilla. <laughs> Listening to Coach Jorge commentating on his side. Oh, great save, great reaction there by Tobino. That's gonna work. He was trying to play with the minds a little bit of this lady trooper squad. Because Dinman was getting ready to check in, and then he put his arm up saying, motioning her back to the bench, and then he just said, serve, serve. Yeah, yeah. He knew the ball was already with Ellie. Exactly. He knew the timing was was off, so he just kept shouting, serve. And then all of a sudden, all the lady troopers were waiting for Din to check in, so they were a little bit relaxed <laughs> and not waiting for that serve. Tactics. Bautista trying to keep her squad alive, and she does. Well, she hasn't been getting a lot of sets. I mean, she started out the, in the first set pretty strong. Then, you know, not much sets. Maybe they have to get her going. Not maybe, they have to get her going. And you see Nunag looking over at her coach and says, now they're going to sub. But a while ago, they brought her up here. And while they brought Indian up, they also served. Pass is pass. Well, you can use whatever trick in the book you can, as long as it's within those fine guidelines. <laughs> and you think you've, we've seen everything. That's right. <laughs> Din Din. Yeah, she knew that space was open. She came in, instantly contributed a point. That's why she's there. The end the set. Look at that perfect set by Cobb. How precise can you get? It is now two sets to none. In 33 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Akari taking the second. 25 to 19. So far, so good here for the Akari Chargers as they lead the Lady Troopers two sets to none. Let's take a look at the highlights here of that second set. And again, almost following the same script as the first. Yeah. Well, that, you know, for Army Black Mamba energy drink Lady Troopers, they need to change their script, right? They're <laughs> no, I mean, you're right. I mean, you thought that it may be different. Their fans are hoping it may be different, but 
every time they give up like a three, four point lead, for them it's like hard to, to come back. I mean, we've seen that in the first set. And then it's the same in the second set. So you gotta forget about what happened. Focus on the third set and try to force a fourth set. Here are some of the highlights here. Again, the Lady Troopers got off to a good start. They were up at 6-3. And then things were tied in the middle part of the set. All of a sudden, Akari took command. They were leading by two. They led by three. It became four. And they never looked yeah, back. Yeah, that's true. But, you know, I like the substitution made by Coach Randy, putting in a taller team, you know, in Marzan. And for, for their fans, they're just hoping that that, that tall team will play better in future games because you don't see that rotation all the time. So if you can maximize that height, you know, they're going to win some more games. When we look at the numbers, attack still went the carries way 50, uh, 17 to 12. Blocking, 3 to 1, favor of the Lady Troopers, aces, opponents errors. Again, you have to give it to the Akari Chargers. Just four errors. They had three in the first set and four. But uh, for the Lady Troopers, they did minimize it a bit by, by two, eight to six. So, but for me, they just have to get their offense going. You know, they have to convert at a consistent basis and hope to fight it out here in the third set. But Lady Troopers, it's now or never. They've got to get this third set or else they're going to fall down to another loss. And Akari will say, thank you so much. <laughs> We're going to be barging into that win column. Well, again, they have to forget about the first two sets and focus here in the third set. Just challenge, you know, challenge. And you should get your first pass, you know, good first pass. Trying to mix things up a little bit as Gonzalez will start things off. And Balanoa will pick up that first point. Well, if you can, you know, like, distribute the ball a lot better. I mean, Gonzalez is starting, trying to change things up for the Lady Troopers. And then try to distribute, you know, let the defense of Akari guess, keep guessing. They go to Permentilla. She will score. She has also contributed heavily here in today's ball game. This is a great game, you're right, no, for Chiara Permentilla, especially in the second set. And it is happening also here in the third set. Five points already for Permentilla. Cobb serving once again. She's had five excellent sets here this afternoon. Another good one. That'll sneak through. I think that's the perfect term. It snuck through. <laughs> and Fermentina is so mad if you see that reaction. <laughs> it's like a kiss off the hand of uh, Tobino. Tubina says, yes, it's about time. I got to get going. Oh, what a serve. What a serve by Malaluan. Here comes that lead once again by the Lady Troopers early in the set. Another good start. But the challenge right now for the Lady Troopers really is how do you sustain, you know, the sustainability of the way you're playing? Permatilla. Denied. Back to her, and she gets denied once again. Oh, that'll go out. A little bit of a stare down after that. Carrie having fun there. And now it's Kiara to serve. <laughs> Barely missed Fermentilla. She had to look over at the first referee. <laughs> did I get the point? <laughs> yes, I did. did it it didn't touch my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't sure. But they're going to get the point anyhow. Here's Marciano. Great dig. Look at that. Stretching out there was Din Din. Yeah, she, you know, that was just a smart line of defense for you. She kept the ball in play. Look at that. Look at how she directed the ball back to the court with her two. 
thing and her uh, pinky. And the pinky, yeah. yes. That was more than enough to keep <laughs> it in, huh? That's clearly out. As we check in now with Hyman. Karin, you know, I had the chance to talk to team captain Jela Inunag of the Army Black Mamba Energy Drink Lady Troopers, and she mentions that one obstacle they still have to face this season is really closing sets stronger. I asked her if it's more of a mental thing rather than a physical. Sabi niya, yes, it is, but if there's one thing about Army, it's that six months of military training has allowed them to be mentally stronger. So we'll see if they can uh, pull one off here down two sets. Back to you, Anthony Narin. Let's see their mental strength. Well, their mental strength obviously is being tested by Akari now grabbing the lead once again and early here in the third set. They're now up by two at 5-3. digits here for and you, Royce. And you would think, but because in the first set she scored five points, that she would easily surpass a ten-point mark. It's going to be another net violation. That's number three already in the last couple of points leading up to the latter part of that second set. Yeah, I totally agree. And what a wasted opportunity because Tobino actually had an excellent dig there. But... The net violation. That one was clear. Mm. Gonna go up the middle. The point goes to Marty Marimama. Oh, Makaslang is uh, actually wobbling there. I think it's a bad landing or. Well, she slid on her way there. Yeah. Now serving Jeanette, but she's giving everyone the thumbs up sign, so she's good to go. One point separating these two squads. They've really been able to handle Dindin Din so far. Yes. Marciano put a lot into that one and sends it a little long. <laughs> Well, you know, Cobb has been going a, going a lot to her because they know that obviously the first line of defense is targeted towards Santiago Manabat. So they keep going to, I mean, she keeps going to Marciano. But don't you think at one particular point here, you give the opponent a heavy dose of tindin? Oh, yeah. I'm a firm believer of living and dying with your ace spiker. Of course, of course, also ball distribution, but you know, when the game is on the line, you always want to go to your ace spiker. And you haven't really given them a heavy dose of Dindin anyhow That's so true. far here this afternoon. But it's also, I feel, you know, the recognition that, uh, you know, at the start of the match, a lot of hitting errors by Santiago Manaba. So maybe, oh, it's a time for Marciano, it's a time for Permentilia. It's also a time for Santiago Manaba. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. See, that set up perfectly, didn't it? Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Dindin now with a serve. Tied at seven. In the back row, Permentilia. And Villarreal couldn't handle that one. Different though by Lady Troopers. There's going to be a challenge here. You know, we've been talking about Akari not really giving the opponents heavy dose yeah. of Santiago Manabat. Well, that 
not too much of heavy dose. That's already gotten them 16 points out of her. 16? That's, That's a quiet 16 That's quiet points. Quiet 16, yeah, exactly. Quiet 16, because we're so used to her being dominant in terms of uh, offense. Right, it's bang here, bang yeah. there, point here, point there. But it's, it's, it's been coming in trickles here and there. And then you look at the scoreboard, 16 points. Wow. Can you imagine if she is in the zone? That's she'd right. She'd be scoring 30 points. She'd be at 25 right <laughs> now. Well, a challenge is going to be called here. Point Rose to Makati. First and middle time on score, eight for Makati, seven for Army, Black Mamba. So the challenge is rejected. Akari will take the point, and that's going to bring us to this technical timeout. Look at this. Your Panda Buddy says, Nakakatuwa, makita si Villarreal. So opposite, makikita. You know what? Our fans just love to see. We have NAPR. Ang ganda nga ni Mitch Cobb. Ganda pa ng setting, ganda pa ng serving, ganda pa ng digging. At maasahan pa sa block yung tama. All around All game around. here for Mitch. Yep. And B says, grabe yung Cobb, Manabat connection, and Manabat has given us 16 points. Quiet point. Ooh, that's into the net. Boy, the coaching staff of Kari Charge is screaming, taking those four touches on the side of the Lady Troopers. Now serving for Army and Estrella. Well, Colstays, it's a tight game. And that's going to work for Malaluan. We haven't heard from her in quite a while. And this is a welcome sight for the Lady Troopers grabbing a one-point lead. That's right, because essentially what has happened in the previous sets, once they've relinquished the lead, they've never gotten it back. Exactly. So it's a chance. I mean, it's a pretty big chance for the Lady Troopers to try to build on that, build on that one-point lead. And the back row, the oh! push. Smart hitting once again from Permendia. And she's slowly racking up the numbers already with eight points. Yeah. I mean, that wasn't the hardest of hips or pushes it's just you know when you see Villarreal look at that I mean she was running towards the attack line oh ace here and Marciano will get that point she has not made as much noise as she would want that's just her first point today and coach Randy I'm sure it doesn't like what he sees. That's two points for the opponent with the same overhead kind of defense. Well, Bautista using the blocker that time. Yeah, choosing who to challenge, you know. You choose for Metilla or Madrigal, of course, you go to the smaller blocker. And now serving. Almost an ace. Oh, good save. Wow, what scrambling defense here. And what blocking up front here for Madrigal. <laughs> and Coach Torres 
hold his arms up, celebrating that point. You gotta love what you see from the girls. Look at that after Mitch Cobb just trying to save that. Great reaction by Marciano. That's happened so many times today when they just kept that point and rally alive. Yeah. They eventually get that. That's pure desire. They're obviously mentally focused here in this match, trying to get their first win. Tobino. Tobino now is in double digits. Finally. And you know what's more important for the, for the Lady Troopers? They're keeping in step right now with Akari. Go to the middle. Makaslang stopped. Back to Permentilia. Good save. Nunag is there. Yeah. Permentilia slowed that one down. Dinden for the back row. Not the best of sets. Oh. And that one wow. sprayed wide. No question about that. That was out. Yeah. Again, the hardest to hit are the sets that come from the back row. You have to focus on hitting the ball and looking at your opponent to score. So when people actually get that kill, I mean, it, they make it look easy, but it's actually not. Cobb with the serve, her team up by one. It's another good one from Cobb. That will get through. And Tobina now with her 11th mark. What a time for her to wax hot here. Well, they need it. If she doesn't come up big here, That's they're a... not going to be able to get this set. <laughs> yeah. Look at her reaction after that. That was also against Santiago Manabat. Chance for the troopers. Ooh. And they're gonna get it. What a tough angle by Ned Villarreal there. And look, they have the lead. Now they're showing us their mental toughness. Yes, that, that mental toughness that everyone's talking about. <laughs> oh, still alive. We call it good. Dindin hammers away. Oh! Oh, that went straight into the net. And she quickly apologizes to her teammates. Isn't that the point of Akari? Check that weight. But she spiked that into the net. Yeah, that's a, they probably called an infraction Prior. before that, yeah, which we kind of missed. No, but then if that's the case, then the challenge should be. No, but from they the got the point. They got the point. So they call the fraction on the. Well. Oh, there's the net touch. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, a lucky break. Yes. Lucky break for the Lady Troopers because Tobino did hit the ball into the net. Yeah, clearly the elbow of Permentilla grazed the net. So that happened simultaneously. Okay, we'll have now this time out from Coach De Brito. Take your time to receive. Don't need to go too fast. Receive first. We have the quick goal. Give the distance between them. Okay. 
Okay. Now it's time for the defense. You see what the guys will do. Put B. Let her there. Put here. We're going to set here. Okay. You had the chance before and the ball was there. Be consistent to finish on the back. Of, but only if you don't put the ball there. The ball is easy to kill. Okay? Come on! Coach De Brito. Really is deep. Just kill that ball. Kill it. <laughs> Anywhere. In the front, in the back. Now, well, obviously, he doesn't want to extend this match to a fourth set. So, this is the game. Well, good timeout, Coach Jorge. <laughs> you ice the server, so it's just a one point game. Ooh, we're going to see Ragas here for the very first time. Oh, interesting substitution. I mean, we know what Erika Raagas, what kind of a player she is. She's an offensive threat as well, but interesting. She had a very good last conference. And there is no whistle yet, so Permentile will do this all <laughs> over again. No violation. No violation. Just it's, just, it's just excited much. <laughs> <laughs> One point lead enjoyed by the Army Black Mamba energy drink at 14 13. That was a three man wall. Oh, good stop. That'll get through. Ooh. Pineda's there once again. Dubino. <laughs> she knew what she was going to do the moment she left her feet. Well, she has been playing well, you know, I mean, especially here in the third set, but I heard Coach Jorge was shouting, she's coming, she's coming, but then she drops the ball, so totally fooling the defense of Akari. So that's when Coach didn't help his team out. <laughs> yeah. Dindin stopped. Ragas oh. finds zone number one. I mean, you know, she's trying to get her feel. No, she's not pounding. She's really just feeling. Look at her, her form, you know. And she gets the point. What a substitution by Coach Jorge. <laughs> so he obviously knows what he's doing. Yeah. Makas lang with the serve. Gonna get through here for Villarreal. Wow, that's three man block right there. That's gonna bring us to our technical timeout here in set number three, and it's 16 14 in favor of the Lady Troopers. Watch Gilas Filipinas on August 25 or August 27, or end, or August 29, and be entitled to watch the other games scheduled on that day at the Smart Arena de Coliseum. Get your Gilas Day Pass now. Limited passes available. Buy them now. Now back to the action here at the Phil Sports Arena. It's the Lady Troopers up against the Chargers. And the the Lady Troopers are actually in prime position here in the third set. They want to snatch this from Makari. Well, just to keep their hopes alive. To Bino. Pineda was there. Here's Tintin once again. And no question about that. She's approaching the 20-point mark. And the, 
it, you know, for me, that hit, although it did clip the, the liner the, inside the court of the lady shoe, if you look at her hit, it's long. It's not the, the ones that go down, you know, it's long. That's the family of uh, Dindin Santiago Manabat, Mr. Manabat, <laughs> Chico Madaba. There's a little bit of miscommunication here from the first referee no, and the second I have referee. Music. I have no. Hindi ya alaw. Hindi ya alaw. Hindi ya alaw. Okay? Wait. Yes. I think he should make it clear now. You do you hear my interpretation? Yes, I know. Okay. I know. Okay. You may go now. Okay. Yes. Are we gonna see a card? Well, all I can say is the first referee will not have it. <laughs> I mean, he gave his interpretation, his explanation, that that's that. They will replay the point because it's a dead ball, but they give a yellow card to Akari. But the thing was, our second referee allowed the players to come and line up. <laughs> But now, the army related troopers can have a substitution. Yeah, and even Akari uh, saw you then uh, Maraginot coming in. So what's the point of the yellow card? Um, I think it's uh, excessive complaining. No, but I think Mitch Cobb was actually just getting clarification. Yeah. Because they were lined up, they weren't allowed to enter, and that's why there was the conversation. Now I think they don't want to do this properly. <laughs> okay, we... I didn't know that, right? I didn't know that. Why are you allowed to go? Let's go back. Okay? Walik. Well, you see, our first referee is saying it was disallowed. Yeah. And so he doesn't want the substitution to happen until the next point. Exactly. And he gave the second referee peace of his mind, saying, I denied it, I gave the yellow card. Pabalikin mo, I'm not going to allow the substitution. So I guess they have to play this point first, yeah. and then you can have the substitution. But you can allow players to come in from the other side? Well, it is what it is. Again, there is no whistle. So Dindin can't serve until our first referee has a whistle. <laughs> But now the question is, if you disallow the substitution from here, then the point should go on yeah. without two I, subs coming in from the other side. I get your point. The problem is I couldn't, I didn't really hear his explanation on why he disallowed Akari, so I'll ask later. No, if, it, <laughs> if you disallow, for me, you yeah, disallow yeah, yeah, yeah. it here, that's fine. Yes. Then the play goes on. Yeah. The point, the point has to be played without subs coming also, in from the other side. Yeah. Yeah. No, I totally agree. I just later I want to. I want to get clarification as well. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, we will explain everything to you once we get that explanation <laughs> because it's all a learning process for all of us. Oh. And Akari at the end of the day is going to get that point. The question is, are they going to get the substitution? Well, now they get the proper substitution in. 
Well, again, you know, you just have to mention these referees are very strict with protocols in terms of substitutions. So anyhow, we are tied at 16 apiece. Let's see oh. that fires up. Looks like it was going out. The Sakari squad. I thought so too. Yeah. So you. Oh! That's a death touch that she put on there. That's just a smart tip there, using the blockers to her advantage. This Kara looks like she probably uh, twisted something, but again. You know, the athletes that these girls are, they're still opting to play. It's a one-point lead enjoyed here by Akari. Oh. The support was there, but Ragnas just wasn't able to get it up. Yeah, but we have to give it to the defense of the Lady Troopers. We're tied at 17. <laughs> These are the moments that we enjoy. <laughs> Business end shit. of the sets. Yeah. Skera now with the serve. And a lot of, you know, Anthony, a lot of delays also in the, the rally. Ooh. That's going to sneak in. Maraginot <laughs> was trying to get a touch to it. She didn't even touch it. She was being congratulated by her teammates. I think Pau Pinedos asked, did you touch it? That's why she said no. And nonetheless, they get the point. Yeah, they call it double contact on uh, Mar Maraginot. But he said a serve. Again, we are tied 18 apiece. The dig. Another good dig on the other side. Oh! Boy, Eli Soyo, crucial. Crucial clutch points. Challenging the blockers. Again, you love the substitution of Coach Jorge. This is his substitution pattern that he's used from set number one. And it's gotten them the first two sets. Yes, it's true. Are you gonna shed light? In a while. <laughs> we're getting there. <laughs> Slowly but surely we're getting there. Don't worry. Ladies and gentlemen, we will try to get it for you. Ooh, Danny's gonna send that one long. And we're now tied at 19. Everybody hold on to the yeah. edge of your seats. Well, this is a, when you look at the front row of the Lady Troopers, this is a full front row. Oh, good serve. Oh, Tamino gets the point for the Lady Troopers. She is playing well here in the third set. Set by Gonzalez there. So you three straight points for Eddie Soyu. And she's going back there to serve. Starters were getting ready to check in. Yeah. But Coach De Brito looked over the bench and said, nope, let her serve. Oh, too near the net. That's why she had to go to her left hand. This time to her power hand. On the back row. They're going to challenge. Well, they say four touches. And Again, just like what has happened in the <laughs> previous times. Chances are they're gonna win this one. Yeah. But you like the way that they're acknowledging the fact that 
Ellie saw you playing well in all three straight points. Even when she's on the back, Coach Jorge said, keep her there, set it to her. Okay, the little that I was able to get, and we'd like to thank Jaime for this, is he went over to the official's table to check exactly what happened. So our first referee denied the substitution request okay. here. And then they still try to get them in, hence the yellow card. Ah, but we're talking about a carry. It's a carry side. Now, while that request was denied, before the whistle started, there was now a request to send in players from Army. And so that request came in, and that was accepted. Mm -hmm. Now, they were sending them in once again, but since that request was already previously denied, it was still denied. Yeah. So that's the explanation. It still doesn't, it still doesn't, doesn't make it's still, sense. exactly, it's still not as logical because the moment, from my point of view and our personal point of view is, if you allow the other team to send a substitute in, then you should give the opponents a chance to as well. So let's see what they say, block touch, yes or no, we'll find out if it is successful or unsuccessful, they say no. Boy, you know, you rarely see those, you know, if you challenge the block touch, I would say about 95% of the time it is a block touch, but this time no hand nor finger got to any part of that ball. And look at the score. Now we're going to see that mental toughness mm. that we've been talking about brought to us by Jaime a while ago. And the mental toughness of the Lady Troopers come to the forefront here. That's a good serve. Permentilla. Gonna come up with a mistake there. And it's now a two-point lead for Army Black Mamba Energy Drink. Well, this, we didn't see this in the first two sets. So they're in great position, talking about Lady Troopers, to push this to a fourth set. Back to Permentilla. Pineda sets her up once oh. again, and she'll oh. deliver a point. But you like the way she made up for her previous hitting error, talking about Cara Permentilla. That's her ninth point. Now, Kiara with the serve. Mm. Trailing by one. Control serves. Oof. It's going to be a free ball. They go to Raagas, oh! and she finds oh! six free. Boy, you love the confidence Maraginot has for Rahagas, obviously teammates in, in uni or university. And now a timeout will be called by the Lady Troopers. We are all squared at 22. Yes, uh, ang nila, uh, sila sa open. Pinapakagat lang muna sa quicker at itatapos sa 6. Ha? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Sige lang, sige lang. Sige lang, sige lang. Sige lang, sige lang. Sige lang, sige lang. Pag masyado mataas na. BLDT, they are getting ready to check in. We're going to have them in our second game as they play the Cherry Tigo crossovers. You want to know how tight this set is? We've had 15 deadlocks and eight <laughs> lead changes. Wow. I want to know how long in terms of time. Gotta find zone six once again. Royce Tubino! Boy, what a time for Royce Tubino to be in front in that rotation. I mean, it wasn't the cleanest of hits, but it, a point again is a point. It helped out that it nipped that net. Yeah. And so that took the timing off Bang Pineda as she approached that particular shot. Whoa. Smart play there. And that was, that really was 
touched by the defender. Yeah, we Clearly. saw it. We saw it. They touched then in Bautista's hand, but what a time for her to decide to actually go to that. Hang on. Who will get to set point first? <laughs> you gotta wait for the whistle. First referee must be like, what's going on? <laughs> Now there's a complaint from Nunag on the other side. Uh, please see kung ano yung hand signal ko ha, hindi whistle ha, pakisabi ha. Okay, thank you. Apologizing there. Well, and deserve I know. Coach Randy was saying that's the third time it happened. Anyhow, hang on. Ooh, that's going to get through. That's still alive. So you just send it over a lot of spin. Bautista, that's going to be close. Oh, still alive. Oh. Smart move there. And it's going to be set point for Army Black Mamba Energy Drink. Boy, you know, these are very tense moments, but what about the veteran Gonzalez just dumping it over? Getting back the point of Jaja Maraginot. <laughs> well, they need a good serve if they want to push this to a fourth set. Tense moments for Akari. And here comes that mental resolve. Good serve. That's going to be out. Do they have a challenge, though? It was called out. But I think they've used up their challenges. Yeah. They've used up both. Oh, we ain't done. We have more volleyball ahead. But it was clearly out. It was out. It so was. even if they had a challenge, whoo, we're having a good one here. Army Black Mamba takes this one, 25 to 23. Okay, it is two sets to one in 41 minutes. The Lady Troopers squeaked out of victory there, 25 to 23, as we take a look at the highlights. Well, it's 41 minutes because there's a lot of delay, a lot of drama there. You know, the referee's getting involved in the drama, but obviously the delays, the drama, all favored. Army Black Mamba Lady Troopers because they hung on. You know, we have to give it to them. They hung on. Honey Royce to be, no, that didn't get a lot of clean kills, but the kill is what matters. And she actually brought her team to, to win that third set. And now we have a fourth set, which is fitting because it's actually a pretty good game. Well, after these highlights, we're going to show you the numbers. And then Noreen and I will discuss something. And ladies and gentlemen, if you want to be part of the discussion, let us know what you think.
about what we're going to be discussing because we talked about it off the air during the last break. The numbers first. Well, you know what is uh, really an eyesore there is the opponent's heirs of a carry charger. Nine as compared to six. You know, everything else is pretty close. But it's nine. They, they committed three and then four and then nine. And that's three points more. And what, what's the score? 25-23. So really, they have to check that coming into the fourth set. Army looking better than what they did or when they did in the first, second set. So clearly, they have the momentum here. And looking at what happened to Akari in that very first set, which they won, 25-18, they only had three errors. Mm, yeah, exactly. That three was one of four. the factors why they won that. Three now, and four. going to that discussion I was going to have, so we had a nice discussion with Noel Zarate, our Coliseum announcer, and he was saying that the moment you get a warning, a yellow card, for delay of game, all your rights are waived for that particular point. So that's why they were not allowed to bring in the substitutions. So, but my point is, the only reason why they got the delay of game is because Mitch Cobb went over to the first referee to question why our second referee had their players line up and ready to enter the game anyhow. Mm -hmm. If the second referee didn't line them up there, then they wouldn't have been trying to get in. All right. Hence the delay. Yeah. So, you lost your right because of the error of the second referee. Which to me doesn't doesn't make sense. <laughs> the bottom line is it doesn't make sense. <laughs> but it, st it stays. I mean, the call stayed obviously, and Army got the better of that set. And look at this. The Lady Troopers are now fired up. Well, we talked about mental resilience, mental toughness, and them winning the third set in that fashion, a lot of delays. You know, obviously it's gonna favor Army. Now the challenge with Akari, how will you respond? But you have to, you know, a question also a lot of people will ask, why was Santiago Manapat in uh, riding the bench towards the end of that third set, right? That was gonna be my next point <laughs> to you. No, but we have to trust, trust the coach. Well, that's where they get paid the big bucks. But again, you and I are here to be able to second-guess things like this. And you and I were looking at each other saying, this is going to be, this could have been the end of the match. Yeah. And so you want somebody who's been scoring already 17 points in at that crucial stage. And obviously the leader of the team, no? being a senior. Well, all of that has brought us here to this set number four. And we thank all of you for joining us. Tuesday action. And it's proving to be a real classic affair. It is. Here comes Tubino, handled by Marciano. Virialial, Doug, Janine, handled there. Back to Royce. Good save. Boy, we've had great defense from both sides. This is a pretty good rally. Why not go to Dindin? Oh, great save by Gonzalez. To the middle, Makaslang also denied. Oh, it's still alive. Oh! And in the end, Both these girls on both sides will need a break after that one. <laughs> yeah, all the girls hopping and popping. Yeah, that was too near the net. Nothing Bank Pineda could do to keep that ball alive. Malaluan will send that one into the net, and I think that was fatigue. <laughs> from that previous point. And you can see Royce holding on to her shorts. Esguera, same thing. They're huffing and puffing. Huffing and puffing. Now they're trying to catch their breath and let's see. Oh. There's another one. That's fatigue same. on the other side as well. Same. 
And we knew that Makaslang was actually very active at the net in that long rally. For circle two. Serving for the Lady Troopers, Royce Tubino. Deep breaths. <laughs> Royce Tubino, deep breaths. That worked. Yeah. Din Din. Gonzalez is there. That one straight into the net, though. What about you know the confidence Coach Randy had in Sarah, Sarah J. Gonzalez? She played the entire third set, and then she's here and she's just digging Manabat Santiago. Ay, Santiago Manabat. She's playing defense, good setting. <laughs> right now, let's check in with Hyman. Anthony and Irene, you know, one thing that shifted in that last set for Army was their body language. I think I even saw Coach Randy smile here and there. But for the veterans, this was something that they wanted to prove, that they can finish offsets much better, and they did just that. While for Akari, Coach Horace's instructions were plain simple. He just wants them to be more aggressive. He felt like there were some attacks they were hesitating. So that's the simple instructions. As we come on to the fourth set, back to you. Let's see who will have a better showing here in the fourth. Make no mistake about it, the Lady Troopers need this one, or else they're gonna fall to another loss. Uh, well, it's a good start for Lady Troopers. You know, if they can keep in step with, with uh, Akari and try to get, you know, grab the lead towards the 20s, never know. The back row attack, that almost worked. For Mentilla, that angle just won't work out. <laughs> you know, she had the right thing in mind. I was looking at that angle. Nobody manning. You know, zone four. Just not enough power to get that through. Boy, Two point lead now enjoyed exactly. by the Lady Troopers. Exactly. Woo. Everybody enjoying this match. That's wide. That's yeah, kind of far for Bautista. She, she tried to chase that set. Madrigal now with the serve. Her team trailing by one. Oh, interesting for both teams. They're using the second setter. Now Gonzalez for the Lady Troopers, Maraquetot for Akari. Serving for Army, Nene Bautista. It's seven to five, Bautista serving. Oh. No support that time from Tubino. And she knew that was on her. Yeah, but the ball was actually you know, changed the trajectory because of the blocker. Boy, this is a close fourth set. Gonzalez has picked her spot so well. And that point from Jane is going to bring us to this technical timeout. Army Black Mamba energy drink up eight to six. Fourth set, Akari Chargers against 
Army Black Mamba Energy Drink Lady Troopers. <laughs> we, have, we have an interesting fourth set, Anthony. Pretty interesting. Are these both teams enjoying themselves, you know, in between uh, technical timeouts? Good serve there from Gonzalez. Makas lang denied. That one a little bit too tight. It's Jeanette who hit the net first. Jeanette hit the net. But it's always scary, you know, we, when we cover games and you see players go into the net, especially when they cross that midline. It's always like even us, we, we hold our breaths hoping that nobody, nobody gets injured. Dubino. Oh. Boy, Pineda has been a star here at her spot together with Nunag. The Liberos have really done their job. Yeah, I totally agree. I mean, we did mention them in the pregame. In the matchup between Nunag and Pineda, they have not disappointed us. Malaluan now with the serve. Her team still up by two. Army's not gonna go away. <laughs> Look at that spin from Dindin Santiago Manabat. That's gonna be her first point in quite a while. Yeah, that's just a smart off speed from uh, Santiago Mana, but she saw that. She saw that hole now in the center. Great pass. All of a sudden, you can see the offense here of the Lady Troopers are starting to hum. Yeah. Again, you know, just winning that third set obviously gave, uh, you know, gave them confidence, an extra boost that they need, or they needed in this match. They needed this match. And Agas back in. That's over set. Point to occur, Takari, they're now down by three. Again, we talked about it going back to that first set. They only had three errors mm. in the previous, in the last set that they lost. They had nine. Yeah, first set was three, second set was four, then nine. Oh, Gonzalez with a stop. Ooh. Din -din, denied. Back to Din Din. Oh. That's point number 19. And that set was so near the net, she was able to not touch it. I think they're gonna give Din Din just a short breather here. It looks like she's really spent. Yeah, and she was going to serve, so yeah, I mean, that's, I think that's a good substitution. So. Will they challenge? No, I think it's too low. It didn't even touch the tape, I think. Yeah, they're not challenging. That was right square <laughs> on the <laughs> tape. <laughs> Sir from Mitch once again. Easily put down by Madrigal. <laughs> Don't look now, we are tied. That's why we're gonna have a quick time out here from Coach Randy. I want to 
Nene. Okay. So, kapag sinetin kayo ng bola, iyan ninyo, gawa tayo ng paraan. Na-touch na ng na bola eh. Gawa tayo. Gamitin natin ang antena oh. Napakalapit ng bola sa antena. Ha? Maging matalino kayo sa paglalaro. Hindi po rin palo ng palo. Ha? Let's go, let's go. Ayan. Ate, huwag kayo tumigil ha? Huwag kayo tumigil. Papawi lang tayo. We are tied at 11 here. This is set number four. If you're just joining us, first set went to Akari, 25-18. They took the second, 25-19, but they lost the third. Army played so well there, winning 25-23. to In 41 minutes. <laughs> Both teams were clawing and scraping. And now, Army Black Mamba. Energy Drink will take the one-point lead at 12-11. Yeah. Again, you like that off and time out when they respond. What about the setting of Gonzalez? You gotta give it to her. I mean, you look at the touch. Very soft touch. Bautista, denied. Good cover, though. Soyu, dug there. Bautista, oh! there. We have a block kill. Boy, that was actually two good blocks by the Agas, the last one getting a point. Perfect. You know, when you look at that slow motion, perfect blocking for the Agas, just reading that. Paran will check back in. Now serving for the county. She played briefly in the fourth, in the third, rather. Whoa. Just getting a fingertip to that was <laughs> Jane again. Well, they call the net touch on Esquerra, but she was so sure it was Madriga. So let, let's see. So they're saying, she's saying that it was hit first before she did, but the official only caught her. Yeah. Because actually, before she actually even went up, she was already making that call. <laughs> she was saying net touch, net touch, and then she went to try to go for the block, and then she touched the net. Let's see if she's right. Well, she, it looked like she clipped the net first. Was she saying the previous, I mean, two shots before that particular yeah. shot that she yeah. had? in that rally. But the thing is, if you challenge a certain play, they're gonna look at that, you know, not the one before that. Because if you want to, you have to stop it at that particular yeah. point. Exactly. That's gonna go long. And they're gonna say it was checked. These contributions left and right from different players of Akari now giving them a two-point lead. Raise the fingers of Gonzalez. Again, Pineda, right there. Lunag kept it alive in the back row to Bino. And she continues to just pile on the points. And again, you know, I mean, if, if the Lady Troopers can just keep in pace or keep in step with Akari, just a one-point lead. Yeah, they're looking good. That's how they won, actually, the third set. Dubina's trying to match the output here of Santiago Manabat. She's got 16 at this stage. Oh, wow. Manabat's got 19. Yeah, that was checked. Yeah. And the coach
coach wanted to challenge that one, but remember, they were down to one challenge, and Luna quickly went over to the coach and said, don't. <laughs> Well, if Gonzalez did say that she did touch it again. Well, you gotta save your challenges, you're down to one. And you might need it at a crucial stage. Yeah. Oh, another block kill. Oh, that's a, that's a three man block there, a wall. That's gonna bring us to this second technical timeout of set number four, and it's a three point lead enjoyed by the Akari Chargers. Welcome back to the Field Sports Arena. As you're watching, Army Black Mamba Energy Drink, Lady Troopers up against the Akari Chargers. Anthony Stai here together with Noringo. In this match, as we said earlier, is turning out to be a classic. Yeah. These two squads looking for their very first so victory. Well, talking about uh, their standing. Army Black Mama 0 and 2, Akari 0 and 3. So again, they're the only teams without a win. So of course, for both teams, this is perfect opportunity to get the first win. And to break that down even further, Akari has actually picked up their first two sets of the conference here today. Yeah, that's true. But you know, We've been seeing a lot of these overhead 14, receptions that are not successful. That's why, you know, if you want to go old school, a coach will say, get down, receive it, underhand reception. Permatilia will send that one long. Same. Tubino. <laughs> and she now has point number 17. For Portland. We are tied. That's three straight points for Army Black Mamba Energy Drink. We'll get the upper hand here. Permentilia. That's in. We love the attitude right now of uh, Chiara Permentilia, you know, error, they go to her, give her the confidence, she scores, she delivers. And now they're going to bring in the big guns. Here comes Santiago Manabat. We did ask that, right, early on. And now it's winning time. <laughs> now and it's... now she's in. Yep. Will it be enough now to get them this set, which will give them the match? Well, they still have a one-point lead. It's not as if they have to uh, chase. Oof. Oh, good stop there by Gonzalez. Tubino is dug though. Here's Dindin. That was a miss hit. Yeah. The fans Ooh. really getting into this one. Still alive. Tubino ah. into the net. Uh, she seems to be running on fumes. Exactly. I was going to say that's fatigue for you. But then really, wasted opportunity because that's a good rally. For sure. And then you hit it into the net. That's long. A lot of service errors here in the fourth set for Akari. Yes. 
So that's going to add up to their unforced errors, really, or opponents' errors. And that's why this set is actually close. Gonzalez with a serve, looking to tie things up yet again. Chance for Lady Troopers. Good dig there. Through. And she's got 20 points. You see the way she went up for that. More force, more power, and she gets that through the blockers. When you see those eyebrows come together, watch out. Two point lead enjoyed here by Akari. Mm. And in again. Another good stop. Smart play there from <laughs> Dindin. She's picked up two big points here. She's now at 21 in total. Yeah. Point lead, good serve. Oh, good save. Free ball though. Oh, near the net. Too, ne too near. And Tubino wasn't ready for that one. That was Gonzalez's fault. I mean, yeah, obviously it was a miss set, but you know, you love the effort really. She tried as much as she could to keep that ball in play. But look at the score. It's now a four-point lead enjoyed by the Chargers. Another good serve. Pineda has really kept so many points alive. Ooh. That's going to work there for Tobino. And look at, you know, she fell to the ground, obviously. Look at that, she's tired. She's giving it her all. <laughs> There's no tomorrow for her. She doesn't want to go down to 0-3. Here's Bello. Whoa! Ouch! Coach Randy looking for a place to hide. That, that's really out with the cap, uh, caps lock. <laughs> <laughs> All caps. It's another four point lead here for Akari. Tubino. They're still going to her. Ooh. Block kill there from Esquera. <laughs> Green, defense of the Lady Troopers. That was actually the people <laughs> that block. Ooh. Well, they go right back to Dindin and she delivers another point. Our timeout will have to be called here by Coach Randy. His team is two points away from picking up another loss. Twenty three, twenty nine. It's a four point lead here in Joy. Just two points away from getting their first victory here of the conference. They're all so close. 
And remember, in the first two sets, that's their favorite number four. That four point lead. Talk about Akari. It gets through. Gonzalez keeps it alive. Bautista oh. get denied by Madrigal. It is set point, match point for the Chargers. Set point, match point, first win point. <laughs> Can they get their breakthrough victory here? Let's find out. Serving once again, one of their heroes for today. Oh, good serve. Dindin. Is it going to be an ace? <laughs> it is. <laughs> That'll really hurt for Army. It, it will. I mean, anticlimactic ending, you know, to otherwise. A game that had great rallies, great uh, competition, but you can see the celebration of Akari really savoring their first win of this tournament. It wasn't easy, but in the end, the Akari Chargers will win this one three sets to one. Well, if you can give the first win to both teams, why not? But someone's got to win it. <laughs> We'll be back to wrap things up.